Moment of Madness started actually about four or five years ago when Katie and I were talking about um, one of her older experiences, uh, Black Tonic, um, which was uh, an immersive theatre piece set in a hotel. And we were looking at ways that we could take that show and kind of take it to a larger audience. So what we were talking about is trying to use more technology in the show in order to allow more people to enjoy it at the same time. The main game controller is the mobile phone. So they use the mobile phone in order to interact with elements of the game, to look up information, to complete their spy tasks. And from that, we've developed the narrative and also the kind of live action that happens around that kind of central mechanism. As that's developed, we've play tested it um, with people over the years to get feedback about what's working and what's difficult for audiences. We brought on the, the acting team um, and they've really obviously brought the whole thing to life. So they have a genuine task to perform in this. They're really active, they're given a smartphone and they communicate with their handler via text message. Some of these text messages are kind of story-driven elements. Some of them are action-based things. They get the players to do voicemail hacks or kind of break into a locker or leave the car, whatever. So, so that's the kind of main driving force behind it. The system that it's built on top of is called Twilio, and that is a, a phone system um, that allows us to send messages over the internet. So we can hook up to text messages or voice messages or, or receive those as well. And it's kind of the same system you deal with probably when you phone up your, your bank account and you get those kind of automated messages on the phone. We've kind of repurposed that system to use in a slightly more fun way, we hope. So what that means is that as the game is being played, I'm kind of playing the role of Andrea, um, and so it's a mixture of branching narratives and pre-written text along with live improvised responses. Their actions um, help them to understand the world and build the story narrative for them um, and the way that that plays out is affected by how they interact with it. At the end of the show the audience are given the opportunity to take a vote and that their vote will affect how the show actually ends. There's multiple endings and that's decided in the moment in the room by that audience using the information that they've had and, and using their own judgement. I think A Moment of Madness is definitely something that I'm really proud of. It's definitely the vision that we were originally going for and I feel very pleased about how the whole game comes together. The combination of using theatre uh, and gameplay and technology I think is quite unusual. So I'm quite happy with just, just how the kind of some of the parts has all kind of come together really. I think we've come up with something that's really unique and it's been really great to experience um, the audience's response um, and how they've really enjoyed the story world that we've built and really enjoyed all the attention to detail um, and how the gameplay comes to, together in the end.